In this video, we're going to prove that 3 to the n is greater than n squared for all integers n greater than or equal to 1 by induction. OK, so step 1. Uh, prove true for n equals 1. So on the left-hand side, we've got 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. And on the right-hand side, we've got 1 squared, which is 1. 3 is clearly greater than 1. So it is true for n equals 1. OK. Step 2. Assume true for n equals k. So 3 to the k is greater than k squared. Step 3. Prove true for n equals k plus 1. OK, so thinking ahead to what we want to show. So we want to show that 3 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 squared. That's what we want to show. So if we start off with the 3 to the k plus 1, in exactly the same way as we showed in the previous video, this is 3 to the k times 3 to the 1, so it's the same as 3 lots of 3 to the k. And by our assumption from step 2, if 3 lots of 3 to the k, if we've got 3 lots of 3 to the k, we know that that's greater than, or we assume that that's greater than, 3 times uh, k squared. OK, so we've got this. Now remember what we want to arrive at. We want to arrive at this k plus 1 squared. So it would be good if I could write 3k squared using that as one of the terms. So we've got the k plus 1 squared, right? Now that's going to give me k squared plus 2k plus 1. So I'm 2k squared short, and it's given me extra terms. I don't want the 2k, and I don't want the 1. So if I expand all that out, that should be the same as 3k squared. k squared plus that makes that term plus 2k plus 1 gets knocked out with that term, those terms. OK, so I want to show that that is greater than k plus 1 squared. In order to do that, I need to show that that is greater than 0 for all n greater than or equal to 1. OK, so how can I do that? Well. 2k squared minus 2k minus 1, if I look at when it's equal to 0, I can solve that on my calculator, right? So, 2, negative 2, negative 1, and we get that k is uh, 1 plus or minus root 3 over 2. So, k is equal to uh, 2, let's say, two decimal places. Um, we've got, oh, went off the screen. So negative 0.37 and 1.37 to two decimal places. Now herein lies a snag because here, I would be saying, right, well, when k is 1, then this part is greater than 0, and so this holds. But that's not the case, because k is 1 is a value between the two roots of the quadratic. So when k is 1, you get 2 take away 2 take away 1. So actually, this is negative when k is 1. And the problem, the reason why this isn't working is because this statement doesn't work when k is 1. Because see what you've got. Here, I've got, um, here I've got uh, 9 when k is 1, 3 squared. Here I've got 3 lots of 1 squared, which is 3. 9 is greater than 3, true. But here, I've got 1 plus 1 squared, so 4. 3 is not greater than 4. So this line of logic doesn't work when k is 1. So how do we get around that? 
The thing is, we know that it works for n equals 1. We know that this is true for n equals 1. So we've got that base case. We need another base case. We need to show that it works for n is 2. Because if it works for n is 1, great. If it works for n is 2, great. If I can then show that this works for k is 2 and above, then it works by induction. The first case worked, 1. Second case worked. And by induction, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th will always work. So this one requires a little bit more thought. So we need to also prove true for n equals 2. So up here, let's do prove true for n equals 2. So let shall we call it uh, 1 part b? And <laughs> that 1 part a? OK. So prove true for n equals 2. The left-hand side will then be 3 squared, which is 9. And the right-hand side will be 2 squared, which is 4. 9 is greater than 4, so it is true for n equals 2. So because it's true for n equals 2, when I'm down here, I can then say, well, 2, when, n, when k is 2, this is positive. So 2k squared minus 2k minus 1 is greater than 0 for all integers k greater than or equal to 2. And so this is greater than 0. And so this now works for k greater than or equal to 2. OK? And so that's where the proof uh, is done. So as it is true for n equals 1 and n equals 2, and if true for n equals k, then we've shown it's true for n equals k plus 1. So it is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. So this one had a little bit of a, a bite in its tail, OK? Um, so we required a little bit more thinking around the problem to get to the final proof.